In the Harry and Mega documentary, Prince Harry said these important words, and I quote, racism is not just restricted to calling someone the N-word. It's far more than that. Prince Harry even went so far as to say that if you can't see what the UK Tabloid Press were trashing Meghan for doing the same things as K. Moulton, then he, he can't help you. He can't help you. And it's true. Racism is not just restricted to calling someone the N-word. That people say that you can only be racist if you use the N-word. That's wrong. That is very, very much wrong. Racism is shown how you treat a black woman compared to a white woman. And my family today, I'll show you an example of racism. My family. Now, my family, someone called Benjamin Butterworth, who comments for the UK media, for GB News, a couple of months ago, back in December, called Meghan Markle or said that Meghan Markle looks like a school bully. Why? Here's why. Allow me to show you a clip for you to understand why he referred to Meghan Markle as a school bully. Allow me to say his exact tweet. And I quote, This is just nasty and unbecoming. Meghan looks like a school bully. And here's why he referred to Meghan Markle as a school bully. Please see this. And you tell me, you tell me yourself from what you see. If this is bullying. My family, please look at this kindly. But how do you explain that to people? How do you explain that you bow to your grandmother? And that, and that you will need to curtsy you? Especially to an American. Like, that's weird. Now I'm starting to realize this is a big deal. I mean, Americans will understand this. We have medieval times, dinner and tournament. It was like that. Like, I curtsied as though I was like... For that. Pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. I was that okay? My family... Because Megan was mocking herself for not knowing how to curtsy, she was called a school bully by Benjamin Butterworth, who comments for GB News, my family. That's what he normally, normally does. And... My family, recently, this same same person posted one other tweet defending Sasha Walpole, who was mocking Meghan Markle. And here's what he said when someone called Tashiana said this to him on Twitter. She said Megan was a gold digger and a downgrade. And so she opened that can of worms. Wonder if she's gonna talk more about William and all the others that were in the pub. She opened that door too. To which Benjamin Butterworth replied and said this. No, she did not. Pierce joked, he called it a joke, that Harry went from a digger, Walpole's 
job to a gold digger. He called it, how is it a joke? Calling someone a gold digger. Let's start from there really. A woman who is a self-made millionaire who has endured so much vitriolic racist abuse and despite what she has gone through she still has stuck by her husband's side. Despite the royal family telling Meghan Markle you know, through Harry that there is no money for her. Still, guess what? Meghan paid with her own money furniture for where she stayed with Harry at, at Nottingham Cottage. Despite all that, she stuck by Harry's side, even after being told, there is no money for you. That is the one they're calling a gold digger. Forgive me, but I don't see the joke in that. So it was not a joke. It was about being abusive. And that's what Piers Morgan was. And Sasha Walpole jumped in on that abuse. And then Benjamin said this in his tweet. He later jokingly asked her if Megan was a downgrade. And she jokingly obliged. With an obvious sense of self-deprecation that Twitter has chosen to ignore in writing it up. My family, so he calls Megan mocking herself, not being able to do a proper, you know, cutsy to the queen. She calls Megan a school bully for that. However, when Sasha Walpole and Piers Morgan were piling up abuse towards Meghan Markle, were mocking her, all this time, Meghan is quiet. It's a joke. They're joking. They're just joking. It's just fun and games. My family, racism is not restricted to calling someone the N-word. You know? It's this double standards in treatment compared to, you know, for a white woman and a black woman. It, the double standards in treatment. My family, I remember when Kim Moulton used her sources, leaked to the media, that Megan had made her cry, which was not true. My family, people were so quick to believing the lie told that Megan had made Kate cry. And you know what? When I first saw that story years ago, I knew it was a lie. How? Because it's a matter of using basic common sense. This is the future Queen of England. How could Megan, a woman of color, make the future white queen of England cry a matter of using basic common sense and I knew that clearly they were out to get Meghan Markle and then later on thanks to both Meghan and Harry going on the record we now know the truth of what happened it is Kay Milton who made Meghan cry it is Harry who found his wife no, sorry, the woman about to be his wife, Meghan Markle, sobbing on the ground, on the floor, crying because Kim Wilson was being difficult while Meghan was planning her wedding. On top of the stress that Meghan already had because of the actions of Thomas Markle, which Meghan shared to Kim Wilson. But Kate just didn't care. She wanted to have her way in another woman's wedding. So my family, 
we all found out the truth. But when Megan went on the record and corrected that lie, some people still were not ready to, pre to believe the truth that they were told by Megan coming from Megan herself. And why was Megan keen in correcting that lie? Because she got so much racist abuse because of that lie. Because she was bullied and trashed because of that lie that she had made the white woman cry. My family, do you know just how dangerous that lie is? Do you know what happened to black women in the history bo books for making for even the illusion, just the thought that they had made a white woman cry? Do you know what happened to black women in the history books? Bad things. Bad things. In history happened and my family and that's why it was important that Megan a woman of color had to correct that lie that was told about her Megan and so my family racism is when you see Megan Markle being mocked on TV, being abused on TV, being called a gold digger on TV because those are not jokes. And then calling it jokes. Racism is seeing Megan Markle on TV mocking herself because she doesn't know how to, to curtsy and calling her a bully. That's racism. Racism is defending, you know, a white woman for mocking Meghan Markle on TV. That's what you call racism. Racism is the double standards in treatment that we have seen time and time again Meghan endure. Maybe people don't understand what exactly this means. My family allow me to play the video of what Benjamin calls it jokes on how they were referring to Meghan Markle. My family, is this a joke? Please hear this kindly and tell me, is this a joke or is it abuse? Is it a joke or abuse? Because if it's a joke, I don't see what's funny about it. Please just Hear this kindly. What do you think of Meghan Markle? Is bright. Um, I mean, again, we I share a lot in common. I mean, we do. Yeah, we both <laughs> refer him as H. He's so, gone um... from a digger to a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> like that. Does he seem happy but, to you? Um, he's not the boy that I remember. That's for sure. Mm. But again, I'm not in his shoes. I have no idea what's going on in his head. I haven't seen him for 21 years. Mm. But do you think he's, he's that... traded up from you or down? Definitely down. <laughs> <laughs> My family, did you see the joke in that? Did you see the joke in that that was making Pierce and Sasha Walpole laughing? Because if you saw it, I didn't. I did not see the joke one bit because it was not jokes. They were abusing Meghan Markle. They were both mocking and abusing Meghan Markle. That's what they were doing. And they were having fun doing it. Remember, tabloids are abusers. People who work for the UK media are mostly abusers. They abuse and spread hate for profit. And that's what Piers Morgan and Cecil Walpole have been doing. By measuring a woman who has not been visible for months now. They were mocking her on national TV. My family, I find that quite unacceptable. 
So there was no jokes in what he said. There were no jokes one bit about, you know, what happened on what Piers Morgan said or Shawl Paul also backed up Piers Morgan's words. There were no jokes about that. And my family, after Sasha has been confronted by members of the squad online, people, more like abusers really, like Benjamin Butterworth, have gone on the record to defend the white woman being blasted online, being called out online for going on TV to mock and abuse a woman of color. Benjamin Butterworth has gone there to defend her and call it a joke. My family, I saw no joke in what Sasha Walpole and Piers Morgan said. However, when Megan was mocking herself because she didn't know how to do a cutsy. When Megan was making fun of herself because she did not know how to cutsy, they called her a school bully. My family, racism is defending a white woman who is being called out for abusing a woman of color and calling what she said a joke. That is racism my my family allow me to read a couple of comments on this matter online because members of the squad online have a lot to say about this now someone said that i am also jokingly obliging by pointing out that even if it was possible to sing so low as to downgrade from sasha it would not come in the form of a woman as beautiful and accomplished as Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. We've all got jokes, and I'm happy to oblige. Someone said that. My family. My family, someone called Nadine, said that Sasha said plenty now she gets what she gets one thing megan was not doing at 19 was rolling around in back alleys with 16 year old boys she was busy preparing herself for life at a prestigious university sasha can keep her name Megan's name out of her mouth. Very, very much true. You know? Someone called Tashiana said, that, Yeah, I answer to digger to go digger. She laughed and said, Yep, you can say that. When asked if she was a downgrade, she obliged. I'll give her the same grace people give Megan with her. Self deprivation of a curtsy that everyone blew up about. So she agrees with Piers Morgan's abuse of Meghan Markle. Yes, she does. And she deserves to be called out for it 100%. If you want to make your own money on cashing on your 15 minutes of fame, do it. Do it. But don't go mocking or abusing a woman of color to get your 15 minutes of fame. You won't stand for that. You won't keep quiet and watch as it happens. We won't. Make no mistake whatsoever about that. Someone in response to Butterworth's tweet said that if she can jokingly oblige, why can't people joke about her too why couldn't she be kind and say some nice words about harry and not say anything about megan whom she has never ever met and will never ever meet instead she said harry has changed i mean yes einstein harry was 16 then he's almost 40 now 
with two kids and a wife. Of course, he has changed. Someone said that Sasha is getting what she deserves. After all, she's been paid for the interviews. Exactly. In the same way that you, Benjamin Butterworth, chose to bully and pile your bias upon Megan when she self depreciated her curtsy. This for Sasha was not that moment. She allowed herself to be used in Piers Morgan's stalkerish behaviors and constant misogynistic behaviors towards women. It was not a joke. Exactly 100%. It was not a joke. The very fact that she chose to be interviewed by Piers Morgan, a racist and misogynist, with a notorious and pathetic hatred and jealousy of Meghan Markle, towards Meghan Markle, is reason enough to criticize Sasha. And not pushing back on the gold digger joke means she endorsed it. Come on, she behaved poorly. First of all, it was not a joke, it was abuse. That's what it was. Abuse. My family, if you can call Megan a gold digger, then what do you call the other women who married into the royal family? Who had only daddy's money backing them up? Who are not self-made millionaires before marriage? What do you call them? Oh, wait. They're white and Megan is a woman of color who refused to put up with the abuses of the UK tabloid media, who refused to give an interview to Piers Morgan and invite Piers Morgan to her wedding. My family, call it what it is. Megan is a self made millionaire in her own right who worked hard for her money. Megan did not inherit her money. Megan worked for it. She was a millionaire before marriage. She bought furniture at Frogmo at Nottingham Cottage, where they stayed with Prince Harry, which was then moved to Frogmo Cottage. When the royal family, when Charles told Harry, there is no money for Megan. And so my family. This constant disrespect of Meghan Markle must come to an end, must stop once and for all. And if you go on TV to try and mock Meghan Markle, to write, to write on your 15 minutes of fame, members of the squad will call you out and you will deserve it. You can't go and abuse Meghan Markle in peace on TV. You won't. You won't. We won't let that happen. We won't allow it. You won't abuse Meghan Markle in peace. Because that's what they want, to abuse Meghan Markle in peace and then get away with it and not face any backlash whatsoever. My family, someone called Debbie, said that like when Meghan was self-depreciating about her curtsy and you decided to misconstrue it and vilify her. The only way Harry could have been less descriptive about this woman is if he referred to her as an it. Sasha wanted the attention and money and so she's getting it. Harry did not mention this woman's name one bit. Someone Say that very, very much true, by the way. Well, why are you, Benjamin Butterworth, so upset that the world responded to what you call a joke with their own jokes? Sasha should have kept Megan's name out of that conversation. 
Very true. 100%. Perhaps Sasha should have declined to joke with a man known for verbally abusing Megan. She should have known better. Very true. 100%. Someone said that Pierce did that to her. Pierce was mocking her to her face. And she allowed herself to be mocked. And then abused Meghan Markle in the process. Won't stand for that. We won't stand for that 100%. Someone called Vanessa said that. So where is the big kind that you are so, so compelled to tag? In those exchanges, Pierce is not joking. He's had it in for Harry and Meghan. As Especially Megan for years now. He's vindictive. Vindictive. Just as he was. When the late Diana. When Diana. At the time was seeing. Major James Hewitt. When Diana was in a relationship. With Major James Hewitt. Piers Morgan. Based on court records. Became vindictive. Towards Major James Hewitt. Over his relationship to Princess Diana. Fast forward. He has also developed the same vindictiveness towards Meghan Markle over her relationship with Prince Harry. The same kind of vindictiveness. The same kind of vindictiveness. And my family, it must be called out. It must be called out 100%. These people always say be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind. As a matter of fact, Benjamin Butterworth also said this, that uncomfortable to see so many people mocking Sasha Walpole, the woman who took Prince Harry's virginity for looks and size. She did not say a bad word about Harry or Meghan. She just wanted to take control of her own story after being outed. Whatever happened to be kind? What a bunch of lies. <laughs> what a bunch of lies. People who are invited to UK media outlets are always liars. Liars, liars, liars. For all those who have read Harry's memoir, we can all come to the conclusion that my family, nobody could have ever possibly known who Harry was talking about when discussing the woman who took Harry's virginity. No one could read that book and say, oh look, Harry is talking about Sasha. Nobody. 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 Sasha Walpole went on the record herself because she wanted money. She wanted her 15 minutes of fame and she got it. But mocking Meghan Markle, you crossed a line and the squad is not happy. We are not happy. And we'll call you out for it 100%. We'll call you out. You won't abuse Meghan Markle in peace. You won't abuse Meghan Markle in peace. You won't. Forget about it. You won't. You know? Apparently, be kind only applies to white women. When it comes to women of color, it's a no-no for Benjamin Butterworth, who called Meghan Markle a school bully because Meghan was mocking herself, making fun of herself because she did not know how to curtsy the queen. She was called a school bully. You know, how are you a bully because you don't know how to do something. Because you don't know how to how to cut see. You are a bully. How does that even happen? How do you come to the conclusion and call Megan Michael a school bully because she doesn't know how to cut see? How? It's racism. It's it's racism. Exactly. Racism. They're calling abuse of Harry and Meghan, of Meghan Markle, sorry, a joke, a joke, a joke. Well, I am not laughing. We are not laughing. 
and members of the squad have made their feelings very much quite, quite clear. We have made our feelings very, very much clear. We are not laughing and we are not happy with this UK carnival or so-called experts who believe that Megan should put up with abuse and keep quiet and take it and they call the abuse of Megan Markle jokes. I am not laughing. We are not laughing. You know, my family, someone said that, why did she have to participate in a joke that downgrades herself and not see how Pierce was gunning for Megan from digger to gold digger is an insult to women and Sasha failed to address the misogyny. No self-respecting woman would find that acceptable exactly 100%. She tacitly agreed to the gold digger insult and none of it was a joke. You know? Someone called this is that so Pierce calling Megan a gold digger is a joke. And Sasha saying Megan is a downgrade is all fun and games and jokes. But Megan saying anything about herself, she's called nasty and becoming bully. By people like Benjamin Butterworth. Where does the kindness you speak of end? Apparently, be kind. To Benjamin Butterworth does not apply to women of color like Meghan Markle. As Harry said in the Harry and Meghan documentary, racism is not restricted to calling someone the N word. It's this kind of treatment that shows you, that exposes racism. Make no mistake about that, my family. Why would she laugh at a joke of another woman being called a gold digger? Why would she say Harry traded down and disparage another woman? Why would she agree to go on Pierce Morgan's show? A man who has constantly harassed Megan, abused her. Why should she be given the grace for that? To, you know, in their eyes, Meghan Markle is not a human being. In their eyes. Because they've dehumanized Meghan Markle for quite a long, long time, my family. A long, long time. They don't see her as a human being because of her color. Meghan is a human being and she deserves to be treated with human dignity and respect. It's a right. Provided under the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights, which Megan has been has not been granted. But the UK media, the right to basic human dignity. Megan has not been granted, granted the right to enjoy that right. The UK media and also by the farm, by Charles, by William, who has who have also participated in the abuse. Of Meghan Markle. You know. My family. It's wrong what they've been doing. And what they continue to do. In their version of be kind. It's okay to them for Meghan to be called. A gold digger. But it's not okay. For a white Karen. To be criticized. My family, it's hypocritical and this is what we call racism. Racism is not restricted to calling someone the N-word. It's how you treat people, a woman of color compared to a white woman. You know? My family, Megan is a human being and Megan deserves to be treated with basic human dignity. And Benjamin Butterworth to get that into his head. Benjamin and the trolls. 
to get that into their heads. My family, now I want to hear your opinion on this, please. Kindly with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Megan said that today I'm the target, tomorrow it could be you. And yes, tomorrow it could be you. We must fight this hatred, misogyny towards women. We must, we must confront it and call it out when we see it. Megan, being a woman of color, does not exempt her from being treated with basic human dignity. We, people of color, have rights. And we deserve to be treated with basic human dignity. We are human beings. My family, may God bless Megan Markle, Harry, Archie, and Lipetana, and all of you members of the squad who have called out this hate campaign, who have called out Sasha Walpole and Pierce Morgan's abuse of Meghan Markle. Call it out. Call out abuse when you see it. Don't be afraid to call out abuse. We must join hands and call it out and condemn it when we see it. My family, please stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.